Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Grubby and Ted here on um, Turtle Rock. This is... I'm, I don't... have I casted this game before? I'll find out relatively quickly anyways. Um, graveyard now being brought down and we have a crypt coming in and... So Ted going with standard fiend build on this particular map right now. We have an altar of storms coming in and an orc burrow. Most likely the barracks going to be positioned here. Um, a little bit surprised that the burrows are so exposed. Perhaps Grubby isn't worried about the fiends trying to focus down those burrow those burrows and trying to supply lock Grubby. Not quite sure what Ted is going to do. Ted won game one with a really really close battle. Grubby coming back in game two and. But for all intents and purposes, just demolishing Ted on Twisted Meadows. And now Ted trying to come back and winner take all in game three right now. We have Ziggurats coming in, Graveyard. Just going to be a little bit of time before the strategies really start to unfold. Altar of Storms nearing completion. And we should see if it's going to be a Blade Master or a Farseer. I'm assuming Grubby wants to go to Blade Master. Yeah, Blade Master worked really well for him in game in game two. So not trying to worry about the fiends too much. Not trying to outthink himself. Just going with the standard, um, standard Blade Master instead of the of the Farseer. Not wanting to use those Spirit Wolves. Right now we have Alto Darkness Ghouls now coming out. We have Acolytes. No, no Acolytes. No additional units. We have the Acolyte now coming out. There's the Tomo Relics that I was expecting. Alto of Darkness is going to complete, followed by the Ziggurat, and we should have the Death Knight in just a moment. So, really, not much to report on or cast at this time. Just pretty much standard play from Ted and and Grubby. And, Pretty, yeah, pretty much the same opening builds so far, so a little bit surprised. Grubby not going to proxy Voodoo Lounge, just building a Voodoo Lounge in his base. Perhaps there's too much cross traffic on this particular map, and he doesn't want that Voodoo Lounge that exposed. And out comes the Blade Master with a single grunt, and now that Blade Master am heading over to the Ogre Warrior camp, most likely. Yeah, the Ogre Warrior and Troll camp over here, getting what I call the Blade Master items: the Claws of Attack plus Slick Six, the Slippers of Agility, or the Circlet of Nobility. Those are the standard items that can be picked up over by that Ogre Magi camp. And now, um, Blade Master quickly selling his Scroll of Town Portal, and now trying to take down this Ogre Magi over here. Or not, not the Ogre Magi, the Ogre Warrior. Ogre Warrior, I'm gonna go down relatively quickly. And let's see what the item is going to be. Perhaps a Ring of Protection plus two. Oh, Gloves of Haste. Very nice item. Grubby and picking up that item really, really, really nicely. Now, and Blade Master still taking some fair amount of damage from those Troll Trappers. We have a Peon finding out where Ted is. So Ted has been exposed. Death Knight should be popping out. No, Death Knight is already out. It does have a Rod of Necromancy. And now trying to take down these Ogre Warriors over here. So let's see how this is going to really work out. Now the Blade Master trying to do some more creeping. Cir Gloves of Haste. Circle of Nobility. Double healing salves. Very, very nicely nicely done getting those items on that Blade Master. And Ted, on the other hand, gets a Clause of Attack plus 6 for himself. So, very nice item as well. Not quite as good on the Death Knight compared to the Blade Master, but still very nice item. And now we have the Skeletal Minions once again moving out. We have one Skeletal Minion trying to do some scouting to figure out where everyone is. We have a Peon um, trying to hide um, over here by these trees and doing a nice job just hiding over there, just sticking around. And right now we have the Blade Master now continuing to move out. The Blade Master sitting at level 2 with the Mantle of Intelligence plus 3. Not the item he was looking for, but I'm sure he'll be okay with it. Now buying a Boot to Speed most likely. Yeah, buying the Boot to Speed, not selling the Mantle of Intelligence. Wants that additional mana, four additional Windwalks. While the Death Knight is now I'm doing, trying to take out this Gigantuan Sea Turtle. Down goes the Gigantuan Sea Turtle. Slippers of Agility plus three. And now, oh, a little bit of trouble right now. A Crypt Fiend, very low on hit points. Getting caught, now using a Death Claw to try to save it. Blade, uh, Blade Master getting a couple more hits on that Crypt Fiend. Crypt Fiend now desperately trying to run back into his base. Able to get into the base, but those Grunts are now continuing to chase in. And they decide to pull back out. Currently upgrading the Halls of the Dead for Ted. While upgrading the Stronghold for Grubby. So both players... Pretty much sticking to a pretty standard strategy right now, and um, not to and not to anything out of the ordinary. The Blade Master now trying to take down some of those skeletal minions. Turtle Hatchling going to fall to the blade of the Blade Master, getting a a nice windwalk strike. Is that no? That probably was a critical strike. He probably wouldn't waste. No, he's yeah, definitely a critical strike, not a windwalk strike, even though it said 70. Anyways, Gigantu and Sea Turtle now getting focused down by those grunts and that Blade Master. Blade Master wants to get some of those items right now, and now that Blade Master trying to pull away, not quite sure. Oh no, using that windwalk pulling away, and well, oh, the healing was disrupted by one of those attacks. So very nice, Blade Master continuing to try to heal once more. Gigantu and Sea Turtle is trying to chase some of those units, and the Blade Master wants to get in a get a peek at this base right now. That Blade Master now trying to move 
into the base not quite sure what he really has in store and now I'm just trying to run across trying to keep track of where the death knight is at all times now getting a critical strike or a windwalk strike on that crypt fiend that crypt fiend now able to get healed back up and the and blade master still getting another critical strike on that crypt fiend another crypt fiend just desperately trying to run away get nice pathing coming in the death knight taking some hits in the back from that blade master in order to protect the crypt fiend that's a fearless hero right there or a leader I'd like to follow if he wasn't if he was alive. Anyways, um, halls of the dead now coming now going to be completed. We should have the lich underway to be trained, and a couple of slaughterhouses to be and um, to be built as well. So no, yeah, there comes the acolytes off the off the mine. Now here comes a single slaughterhouse. Is going to be double slaughterhouse. Um, no, and a sacrificial pit, wanting to get that shade early in the game. Right now, that Blade Master still running around that map. Blade Master, a little bit of a hero um, exp experience advantage over the Death Knight, but not by much. Death Knight now trying to run back into that base. We have a Beastiary and being built and a Spirit Lodge. So Grubby pretty much doing a standard build at this point. Beastiary and Spirit Lodge. And now, um, what, four grunts trying to surround and take down a single low hit point and skeletal minion. We have the Blade Master coming out as well. Blade Master going to come in and let's see what the Blade Master is going to do. Not deciding to do anything. A little bit surprised by that. Blade Master just trying to, um, just trying to keep tabs. And we have the grunts now handing, sticking outside the base. This game's a little bit slow. Not quite sure what the strategy is from Ted at this point. Now, um, we have a... A shade now coming out, so a shade is going to be probably sticking close by at all times to Ted, um, in order to protect him from the wind walking Blade Master. Blade Master now coming in, getting a critic or a hit on that um, Lich. The Lich getting that frost armor, very very nice first item, first ability. A Torin Chieftain as a secondary hero from Grubby. So Torin Chieftain as a secondary hero instead of the instead of the um, the Shadow Hunter. A little bit surprised by that. Anyways, back to the game right now. Blade Master and um, trying to come in. I I don't think the Blade Master was able to, um, to take any kills right there. And now perhaps he's going to try to take down one of those low hit point fiends. No, those fiends quickly getting frost armored and that Lich just really protecting there more of a, as a defensive measure. The Lich Blade Master now trying to come in. Perhaps he's going to try to come in and try to take down this gigantuan sea turtle Perha probably not and now he picks up the item picks up the one of mana stealing and the tome and hitting up the blade master the blade master going to be forced to run away most likely knowing that there is now a shade nearby um, um because of the reveal anyways back over here we have the torn chieftain trying to do some creeping the torn chieftain getting the sobi mask very nice item on that torn chieftain more stomps and i think a stomp with raiders is going to be very, very deadly to those fiends. Back over here, we have that Lich continuing to try to fight as the Death Knight was trying to um, creep out the Goblin Merchant Shop. Blade, Blade Master still sticking around a little bit too much and taking a lot of damage. And the Death Knight, um, ooh, very nice play. Death Knight was steal, stole some of that mana from the from that Blade Master. Picking up that Rune of the Watcher right now. And now we have those Troll Trappers sticking around as well. Perhaps the Death Knight should probably... Um, Oh, here comes the rest of that army right now. Blade Master coming and taking that last last attack. Now trying to take down that last Crypt Fiend. That Crypt Fiend getting death coiled. Wonder why that um, Death Knight didn't do that earlier. And now that Blade Master get, um, using a potion of invulner lesser invulnerability. Very nicely done. That Torrent Chieftain going to get off another stomp in just a second. Most like no, not another stomp. And we have another ensnare. So, uh, so far, really nicely done. That low hit point grunt trying to run away. Death Knight still only sitting at level 2. Doesn't have that 200 hit point death coil. Blade Master picking up a scroll of healing as well and now i'm trying to heal up that grunt as that grunt now moves back out so this game is definitely inter more interesting than the previous one where the lich is now at level two and there's really no advantage to either player both players sitting at level two here um, dual level two heroes we have um black citadel now being finished so we may see another goblin tinker from ted ted um, has been going the goblin tinker but meanwhile grubby getting that kodo beast as well sitting almost close to a 50 food army ted now sitting at 36 over 50 going to pick up that goblin tinker so it would should be 41 in just a moment let's see if he is picking that goblin tinker up no not quite sure yet we have that lich now still moving out i see a single statue a couple fiends but not much right now and we have another voodoo lounge being built so grubby is setting up another proxy voodoo lounge in the middle of the map Blade Master heading back home, perhaps to try to get some clarity potions and healing salves, trying to heal himself out, off and now move back out once more. Stronghold and Grubby doesn't look like he wants to go to tier 3 fortress, just wants to stick with this tier 2 stronghold as the shades are continuing to move out. And Gigant oh, Torrent Chieftain now sitting at level 3, so level 3 for that Torrent Chieftain, that's going to be very, very bad news 
for those fiends as those fiends are going to get taken down really really quickly down goes um there goes my timer but stay tuned for part two of this three-part replay between ted and grubby here on total rock